we sit up, we sort where we sleep, we place every pillow possible, and we tell you guys to make sure you're subscribed and to ding dong that bell because it is a new dawn and a new day. And to which, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome your faces to it. My name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life and put it on the internet at 7 p.m. ish for your faces. Now as to why I do it, I'm not quite sure. It's a bit like a video diary for me to look back on in life, which is gonna be fun because I'm becoming a dad. So seriously, make sure you subscribe to follow along the way the stress and trials and tribulations I will find on my way to fatherhood. But before I need to fulfill that purpose, we have got a crazy amount of stuff to be cracking on with on this fine Monday, Monday morning. I'm hoping the weather's gonna hold up, but I think it's safe to say, Probably not, but that doesn't matter because we've got something going on next door. More particularly, a project I've been working on for quite a while, and that is Tom and Tom's Operation Tree Takedown. Now I'm going to take that back with a big butt because we are indeed taking down all these trees you can see at the back of my garden. But don't panic, I'm not going to make David Attenborough depressed. We are indeed planting all of them back, but as those kind of trees. And pretty much for every one we take out, we're planting two more because we're replacing these and we're going all the way along next door's garden. So it's going to be a busy one, but you're the man with the plan. <laughs> this is going to go smooth sailing, right? Nothing's oh. going to go wrong, right? Well, you're doing the trees, aren't you, so... <laughs> I'm being trusted with a fun. chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> well, at long last, it's about that time. I can bring out my work pants because we're actually... Ah! Who put that there? As I was saying, we're finally getting a project underway. It has been so long since we said we were going to do something, but we're finally getting on with it. So as much as I love my Syndicate original swag, we're whipping it off. And we're becoming a manly man for the day. Oh, look at me. I've got my work pants on. I've got my pockets. D draw. <laughs> Don't even act like you're not impressed. I've got my work pants on. Yay. I'm ready for business. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, task one. We need to get a new chainsaw. Mm. What's it called? A chainsaw bar because I am really being trusted by Tom. No, you're not. It's you. You, you said you were doing that, but I'm going to trust you. Oh, am I signing away, signing away all any, liability? Yeah, any liability of you with a chainsaw? Is... I confirm I will not sue him for anything <laughs> whatsoever, but I'm chainsawing those trees down. <laughs> wow, we've made a, a total of 10 feet. Look at the colour of the sky. We just missed it on camera, but lightning just struck the church spire. Oh boy, Tom. I've got a feeling I'm gonna get wet today. You are. Are we, eh? Tom, are we sure we wanna take on the job today? <laughs> Poor Matt. Well, last week would have been a great time to start, would it, Tom? Would it? Sorry. Oh my gosh. We'll be A-OK -okay as long as we don't stand up under any trees. Wow, this is, yeah, pretty brutal. But right, where to get the bar for the chainsaw? You know what I usually say to you, get to the bar? I don't mean get the bar. I want a beer. But I guess we're going to need it. And wow, we are home sweet home. Um, it has really rained whilst we've been gone here as well. To the point where it's washed half the sand off the drive down into the garden. And I think Matt has got a... Whoa! Wow! You did say my grass needed watering, so I guess that's a job well done. Now, you would think it's time to start chopping down the trees, but unfortunately, we need more stuff. We need some oil for the chainsaw, and it's locked in the house next door. And do I have the keys? No, I don't. But I do indeed know the person that does. Mother! Where are my keys, you crazy lady? Hello, lass! <laughs> Hello, dog! Thanks for my keys, lass. Are you having a lovely Monday so far? Yeah, I'm going to work in a minute. Oh, very good. And uh, as I'm about to go back and start chopping down some trees, it's starting to rain again. <sighs> but at least we can get going. And through the secret garden we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wow, I got so wet through through that. But here he is. He's cleaning up the back section. I've got the keys. We can get the chainsaw going. We can crack on. Feels like a lifetime since I've been in here, but more particularly near the wall of legends. And look at this, me tool shed. Oh! I've got all this stuff for doing everything I need. Not exactly a proper chainsaw helmet, but it does the job and it is actually filled with cobwebs and dead spiders. Lovely. But if Tom's chainsaw isn't going to work, I've got mine, which is petrol. I've got the oil and everything I need and I've got a spare chain because I believe I need to put this on. But yeah, this thing has not been started in way over a year. So let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, you know I was saying that maybe it needs a new chain. Maybe it needs a chain in general. It hasn't got one on. 
Oops. But hold the phone, do I even need it? Because I can see him ripping up the chainsaw. I might just be able to get my gear on and get going. And it's a good job I decided to check for spiders. Because look at that Danny Longlegs getting out of there. But all right, we're getting all the safety gear on and everything. And whilst I've been gone, I didn't know, Tom Upton has actually pulled out one of the trees to test like where they're going to fall. So we're going to attach a rope to pull them this way as I'm chopping them. But look at that. I've lost my first tree. I'm so sad. Nearly 10 years of growing these things. Look how big they are. I'm like absolutely minute compared to them, but it's for the greater good. Tripod triangulated. I think it's soaring time. Oh, is it? Matt, you ready? All right, do this. My name's Lev and Tom. I've got all the gear and some sort of idea. Done. I would just like to point out how fat I look in this jacket. I just took a picture for a thumbnail on the screen now and realised all oh, that bloody Michelin man, but right, the rain's about to come down, so let's get rid of them all. Like a pro. We really could fly through getting these out like chop, 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 as long as I do the wedges right. Because if you see how I've been cutting it, you go up and in, and then you cut it at the back and it'll go wee out, but they're so branch heavy at the back and especially with it raining the weight might make it go that way into the next door neighbor's garden where there's a trampoline and garden furniture and we don't want that so i chop them down matt drags them out we reattach a rope and the cycle continues and away she goes <laughs> bloody hell that was a big tree and don't worry matt i'm not going to offer an helping hand <laughs> you're just there struggling yeah, to pull it and i'm trying to film but well. mate i think we're definitely going to be having one hell of a bonfire with all this yeah. wow this pile is going to be so high but we've got about six down probably 16 to go <laughs> houston We've had a problem. And that's why you wear safety gear, folks. Didn't hit me or anything, but chain came off. One phone call later to Thomas Upton. We think we've managed to get it fixed. Yes, go on, Matt. Keep her going. That was a big one. Damn, boy, he's thick. Wow, look at the size of these, like, small, small. Thick boy, thick boy, thicker boy. Bloody hell, look at all the light we're getting now. Wow. Go on, the boy. <laughs> I tell you what, I've definitely got the fun part of the job. I do the chopping and he does the chugging it over there. Now, I think you get the point of how we do this. Matt ropes it up, I chop it down, we drag it away and we get onto the next one. So I think it's time we do a bit of a time lapse. Not before we put the chain back on. But luckily this time we don't need Tom. We know what we're doing. But we've gained ourselves a Lydia. Only for one minute. Hello. We have to go. Uh, uh, you have to go, but at least you get to see manure. Yeah. Have they planted? They... Roses really smell like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Probably put something down in the field, but take a look at it. That's the last bit of privacy we're going to have for a long, long time. I'm sad about it. I planted them. Babe, I'm gutted. I won't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. Like, Why we'll. Did you we'll... Do it then? Because they're getting poisoned, they're dying, and we're going to put in a whole new tree line of the same trees going along. We'll look back in the future and we'll be like, brilliant, banging, exactly what we were after. But it is going to take a long, long time. How tall are the new ones going to be? Not that fence? tall. Just a bit taller than the fins. We're going for those, which are laurels. So nice and green, all the way down there. Nice and thick, running across both gardens. Mmm. 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 Weird weather, right? Yeah. Really weird. Did you get stuck in the thunderstorm? No, I was in my car, so I was fine, but he got stuck under the tree. <laughs> lightning, <laughs> Which, there was lightning. Yeah, you should really not do that. If, if it's thunder and lightning and raining, do not stand under, under a tree. Okay, we're cooking with gas, and it's time for a time lapse. Wow, Matt, what a job, lad. Well done. That was a graph, wasn't it? Flipping heck. We're not finished yet, but man, he was like, bet you're hot in that. I was like, I bloody am hot. I'm sweltering, but 
We've got a few of the poison ones left, but I thought that would be enough for the time lapse for me to just show you guys what we were dealing with. So you saw the size of these big trees, but look at these little ones that were just poisoned and dying. So that's obviously what we're getting rid of. So is this and so is that. We might try and keep these two trees in the corner just for, I don't know, a bit of privacy for now, but they're probably going to go. But this really has been a job well done. And the weather, uh, the weather, uh, I can't believe it. From it, fuck it, we saw it thunderstorming on the top of the church, lightning. Him hid from the hail to now sunshine. And look at that, by the way. Now the trees are gone. Look at the, look at the view I've got from my garden. Those trees would have covered the very top of those clouds. Wow. Macho, macho, mat. <laughs> He's going to be a macho, mat. Macho, macho. <laughs> what have you done to me, tree? I was keeping that one. <laughs> left and it's a job well done honestly look at that view it's insane like, don't run. this is the benefit of the garden now having so much more sky which is amazing when the sun goes over this will get way more sun in the day but now the privacy it's not the best so i could really do with the trees growing in probably four five foot above this fence or meters and then uh, i'll be happy but like i said that's not going to be happening anytime soon, maybe next couple of years. Hey Matt, you can't write it. My phone literally just popped up saying storage full. So we've managed to film all that with a time lapse and then at the very last tree, the storage just went boom. Well played, well played. But as I was saying, I just said I fell down a hole and this is like the drainage problem we're actually having with the trees. As you can see, look how bogged down with water that is even though we've got drainage 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 everywhere it's just holding water but bam, 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 bam we've absolutely smashed this i'm now tempted like i said to leave them there for now because they don't need to go because like they're not like the ugliest dead looking tree in the world but they should probably go so i think we're going to chop down this little thing here which i'm just gutted about look how dead it is i'm like so so sad because this was a christmas tree about this high when i first moved into the house but alas whatever's going on with the land managed to get it and take its life by the way if you like the whole hands-on projects that i do if you do me a favor if you do enjoy them leave a like for you and let me know in the comments down below if this is the more hands-on stuff you want me to do because this is what i want to do and that's why we like the whole projects like that we're talking about with the houses is difficult because i can't do any of it i'll try and help but i can't do any of it this stuff i can do laboring i can do but yeah that that is out of my control right are we killing the christmas tree is it going? Let's get it gone. B E A. Beautiful. And talk about timing. I've got a meeting about the houses in T minus 29 minutes. So it gives me enough time to go get showered, changed, and get a meeting with these blokes about what's going down in the business. Oof. Hey, Matt. I think it was dead, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> right, mate. I'm going to leave you with a fun job. The fun job of moving all the trees. Like I said, I'd totally stay and help him, but that's what I'm paying him for. I get to do the fun stuff. They get to do the grindy stuff. And do you know what I've just realised that I need to do? I need to do a before and after. Oh my gosh. That's just crazy. Like, look, I can see all my neighbours now. Hello. But wow, the amount of light this garden has gained is insane. Bloody hell. After all these years of saying we were going to do it, get rid of the trees and get the new ones in. We're finally getting on with that. And don't you dare tell me that I ain't a sexy sight right now. Ooh, look at that. Look like I'm a tent top farmer. Man, if these builders actually appear whilst <laughs> I'm looking like this, holding my pants up because they're too big. I lost weight, man, I lost weight. They're gonna be like, what is wrong with this bloke? All right, shower time. And oh shoot, this is what I was talking about. Privacy gone from the bedroom where I get up bollock naked, straight down into there. Neighbours patio area, the neighbours play park, everything. It's a bit brutal. Hence why I didn't want to do it. Like, I really didn't want to do it. Like, you look at it, you're looking straight on them. And more so, like, these guys never got to see this house because they were behind trees. But now they just have to stare at this. But it is what it is. It was always going to happen. It was always just a matter of time. The time came and the job is done. We've got to get the new trees in, get them planted, get them growing. Tom's going to put them on like tree steroids to try and get them growing as fast as possible and then a maintenance schedule to keep on top of it. But yeah, 
I'm thinking we might have to take this piece of glass off, you know, like this is called a Juliet balcony here behind this door. I think we have to take that off and make it a mirrored effect. So you see like down there, that's the actual pool room, but it's got mirrored glass on it. So you can see the reflection of what's in front of it. And if people are looking up there onto this glass, they'll see like a reflection of like pff, over there, something like that. So with all the light that hits this, uh, it should do a good job, but we're gonna have to get that replaced pretty damn soon. But oh my gosh, this shower has never been more appreciated because I have chainsaw tree shavings down my butt crack and I need to get rid of them. Don't you dare tell me that's too much information. Right, we shouted and changed. I'm getting knocked at my door. Talk about cracking on time. 10 minutes before he's supposed to be here. That's what I'm talking about. Well, flipping heck, what a bunch of blokes. See you later. That rent really, really well. So I've basically been trying for so long with construction workers, construction workers, construction workers to get things going. And I'm just like, if things are going to fall through, I need a backup plan on a backup plan on a backup plan. And that's what I've just put into put into place. But whilst I've been planning everything, man like Matt's been busy! Wow! Go on the boy! We've benefited from tidying up by finding two extra basketballs at the back. But how mad does that look? It's bizarre, isn't it? Honestly, it feels like a completely different place. It probably will do because I'm gonna feel like my neighbours are right, right there in my garden. But wow, look at that! <laughs> that's mad! You really have been on a graft, haven't you? Look at, look at how much he's moved. So all the trees that I just chopped down and like took out of the way, Matt moved them from there to there. It's a mini forest, isn't it? Oh my gosh, at least I'm gonna have a bunch of wood and basically a big ass bonfire, but I'm not gonna light on fire whilst it's all big and green, do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I might have to get some chopping going so I can get some logs out of that. Oh yeah, go on then. But wow, that is actually bizarre. The amount of light it lets in, isn't it? Like, look, you can see all the field, all the field through there, all the field through there. That is, uh, that's just a madness. It's a mountain of trees. But I'll see you tomorrow morning where we're cracking on with the rest of the job. So you know that once you've done this work on the house, you've got to put your name on the builder's wall, yeah? Nice. What time are you here tomorrow? Five to seven, right and early. <sighs> this goes then. Mate, I'm not having you walking home. I'll drop you off myself, lad. I've got no problem dropping you off, lad. Yeah. I've seen the graft you put in today. Tom Upton might not be here. He might be running around doing whatever he's doing, but I've seen the graft you put in. I've got no problem dropping yeah. you off at home, lad. And that's Tom's Uber service completed. And I can step into Syndicate Original and say, Hello, Nino Grigio. Hi, how are you? You right, mate? Ooh, and wow, wow, we were. I've had more things sent to the P.O. box. I have to pause for an entire second because I've just got to, like, like sit down and get my mind right with what's going on. It has been a busy day. It may not have seemed like it, but it bloody has been. Let's actually start by reclaiming this desk and moving all these to the fridge. Do I fancy a nitro Pepsi today? Probably not, because I've eaten nothing and I've already had a full-fat monster. Okay. That's a bit better. And do you know what's even more better? Is that that, that is a tracksuit for man like Andy. Come, come, give, give, give. Who's coming picking up later today. But when I was last in this office, I showed the subscriber count on this channel being 2,575,555. And today, after the weekend, it's on 2 million. 576,438. So to every single one of you who've clicked subscribe to tune into just the madness that is the life of Tom, thank you so damn much. To those of you like who don't even have YouTube accounts and have made them and click subscribe just for that reason, thank you. I was like, can we reach like 2.6 million by the end of the year, which is now less than 23,000 subscribers away, which is mad. I don't think that math works out. But I saw so many people being like, no, Tom, we can hit 3 million. And that means we would need a whopping 323,562 people to subscribe. So if you're one of the people who've not subscribed, feel free to create an account, click that subscribe button, ding down the notification bell, and tell your friends about it. But no, truly, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that is madness. And here he is, the boy. Where's he going? Hey! Going to Australia tomorrow, so you wanted some Syndicate original swag. How long are you going for? A month. Enjoy the tracksuit. I'm not sure you'll need a tracksuit in Australia. It's winter. How cold is cold? Because that's a warm yeah. tracksuit. Not, not, not degrees at night. Oh yeah, go on then. <laughs> we'll stay nice and cosy now. Hey, I want to see all the pictures in the swag, all right? Take care, Chief. If you don't know who that is, you know, where's the ginger afro who's having the baby who is at the grapes? That's basically his stepdad, um, and he reps the swag all the time. I bump into him, repping the swag. Speaking of which, can I put a picture of my cousins, Simon and Sean, rocking the swag? They just happened to bump into each other at a family get-together, rocking the same stuff. And on that same note, oh, some updates for you guys. 
I've been working with Evan Eckard, who's the designer at Syndicate Original, and he has got a pretty no. solid solid stage of the like I was gonna say summer design. It's kinda like past summer now, a little bit. Mm. Is it gonna get warmer? The August is gonna be warm. Okay, we'll have August, but the summer collection is getting a lot closer to being created. I'm I'm, I'm gonna put a picture on screen, but I'm gonna blur it and then just say Pfft. Spoiler alert, can't show you yet, but it's in the works and it's looking sick. Well, I've got to say, Mum, Nino, well done on smashing out the orders. Um, speaking of things being smashed, can we replace the laptop? Yes, I'll oh! set it up. Oh my gosh. Progress! And wow, I actually find myself getting bullied by my family to open the rest of the PO box that I've been sent. So again, if you ever want to send anything to me, it's on screen now. This is the address. It's my PO box, so you don't have to send anything, but for some reason, people keep sending me packages, so I'm going to open a few and see what's inside them. Oh, this is going to sound so random, but I actually had someone message me like, Tom, would you be interested in an obsidian knife? And it's just hit me that if the person actually sent me an obsidian knife, I could use it as like my uh, P.O. box letter opener. But what is this? We've got... Oh, oh, it's wrapped and everything. Oh, wait, is there any names on it? Nope, nothing on that. It's got to look a bit of a letter that says to Tom and Lydia... A little bear on it. Wait, it says Bumbles and Boo. Ooh. I didn't want to ruin that. Hello, baby and Boo. Let's open it up. Hey, look at that. 10% gift voucher straight away. Whoa. Tom, I've watched you grow up from a young lad to being a mature, inspirational, and real down-to-earth man. Mature? Not sure we'd let that one slide, but <laughs> go on then. Um, now you're starting your own family. The biggest congratulations to yourself and Lydia, the two most deserving people ever. Or oh, I wish all three of you nothing but love, health, and happiness. Amazing. From me and my little man. Oh, to you, Lydia, and your little bum. All my love from Josh v Vidler. Ooh, Josh, thank you so much for that. But what have you sent me, a bastard? It looks so nice to the point that I don't actually want to open it. And I realise now that as much as I love opening, um, you know, my pre my my, pre my, pre my presents, <laughs> so used to birthdays that like being going on. But um, I'm so I'm so used to opening the packages in here that I would so love like a sick um, set up at the house next door for doing these unboxings. But oh, it's a little. It looks like a little um, a hamper. That's what I was looking for. Oh, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> she can't help it. You're the nosiest bastard in the world. I like presents. Do you like? Look at that. I don't know what it is yet. I like presents because you... didn't get me birthday presents. Can, can you guess what it is yet? All right, inside the hamper number one. Ooh, it's more wrapping. <gasps> don't tell Alice. Why? Oh, that's nice. Mate, I've got a brain of a fish. Josh, what? Oh, Josh. Dream big little one. Oh, <laughs> Mum. Mum. No, look. You've not seen this. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, mom, my mum's got a point. I'm going to put it back in and I'm because it does say to Tom and Lydia. So I probably shouldn't be unboxing it all by myself. But oh my gosh, brother. The, oh, I can't describe how that feels. That is like, oh, that is well. Oh my Lord. That is so cute, my friend. Thank you. I'm going to put that with it so Lydia can read it. Thank you so much for that. You big sausages. I did say you don't need to send me anything. The fact that you're sending me something like that is just absolutely ridiculous. And just for the record, I would actually be wearing my Syndicate original uh, neck chain dog tag that I got sent, but I bloody left it at home when I got in the shower, didn't I? What do you say? You can wear it in the shower, it's sterling silver. Oh, I thought it might go funky. Right, package number oh two. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, no way, the collections continue. No freaking way. Okay, then. Wait, what? Ma Marvel Red Hulk? Whoa, it's an entire box of them. Oh my gosh, the pot figures continue. Can you some chocolate fingers? Chocolate thing. Oh, they've sent me chocolate buttons. See, it's like a it says Tom on it. Did you see how she didn't even? Yeah, honest to God. If you send in snacks, just be known she's going to steal them. Hi there, Tom. First off, I want to say happy birthday and congratulations. I've been a massive fan of the Cynic Project uh, and live with Tom for so long. I thought I'd wish you a happy birthday and tell you a few ways about how you've impacted my life. We've got a fan of hunting optic on our hands here. The Call of Duty Zombies. My night. <clears throat> and it turns out I've met him. Oh, Kieran, what a bloke. I met him in Wales in Carnarvon. I hope the context of this box brings you some joy. You'll find some sweets that are labelled with names with who they were intended for. 
is there snacks in here for the staff? Because I think they might go crazy. <laughs> in, 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 instead of them stealing them, he's labelled them. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to help me that much. But if it's to someone's liking, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Thank you so much for all your incredible hard work you've put in over the years. And happy birthday, Kieron! Kieron! Thank you so much. We've got a Marvel Zombies Thor that you sent in. Sick. I love it. Ooh. What? A retro Iron Man? More so, the Invincible Iron Man. That's kind of epic. Go on. Oh, what if Doctor Strange Supreme? I like that. I like that. Then we've got Tom's Jelly Tots. Again, I really enjoy the name tags because... Why did you do this? Why, why did you do this? I've got some sweets for Karen. Give me strength send her the starbucks nino you say thank you and take them off me you can open these and you can have one. Oh, it's just coming out. fucking hell i can't i can't with you so say thank you to kieran thanks kieran do you mind if i swap the, the stress this p.o box causes me hey oh there's more <laughs> chocolate but with lydia's name on it <laughs> i'll be i'll be a friend and share some buttons Oh, for f this says Lydia. Never know. Oh, I'm sure she'll never find out. Give me strength. Thank you. Leave a like rating if you want me to continue these PO box openings, and leave a comment if you if you actually enjoy them. But the stress it caused me is making me grey. So, just for context. Wait, wh where's the bag? What? What? Mum, you just brought these snacks over as if I was a dog, and they're treats. But I'll take them. Yep, mate. You guys are too kind. They are actually sick. And Lydia's going to love that. And that. And she would have... Wait, hang on a minute. I said you could have some of the chocolate because it was Lydia's. I said it was Lydia's. You are a... You're a fraud. Try sleeping at night knowing you stole from a pregnant lady. How about that? I steal sweets from a baby as well. Stealing candy from a baby. She said it, not me. Now, I've got to be honest, this is not my best camera angle to try and open it, but I thought I'd change it up a bit. We've got another little package here. <gasps> what is it for Tom or is it for Th Alice? There's a logo on that of a jelly cat. Is my collection going to grow or is Alice's? Whoa! Whoa, that's a big letter. Oh, I think it's just like an invoice. Care for your jelly cat. And then, is this a gift note? Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah! <laughs> Not for Alice, it's for me. Ooh. Hello, Tom and Lydia. Just a gift to say congratulations on your news for little jelly man slash jelly woman. <laughs> All the best in the world from Haley Wilson. Am I pronouncing that name right? H A L L E Wilson. Again. Oh, Halle. So, Halle. Yeah, I know I'm bad with names. It's not got an accent on it, but. To, to, to... Ah! We'll play it off like this. Thank you so much for this. But what is inside the bag? Yeah, I think I should probably put you back over here. This seems like this seems like the angle. But okay, what are we saying it's gonna be? Let's take a guess. Let's take a jelly cat guess what now. Do you know they came in bags? I didn't know they came in bags. What are you guessing? A crocodile. A lion. Mm. Do you know what? I'm seriously gonna have to set up a website, like a proper life of Tom FAQ for all the question questions asked. And then PO box is like a jelly cat collection. Oh, it's soft. It's soft. Oh. Is that a turtle? It's not. It's bad. Jelly Man. Hello, jelly Man, Osprey. Osprey, Jelly Man. Oh my gosh, look. Lydia's going to lose her shit. If you guys keep sending in jelly, jelly Cat, she's going to... What? Ellis is going to lose her shit because she's not getting any anymore. They're all going to Lydia. <laughs> It's a competition. You either send in a jelly cat for, for me and Lydia and Jelly Man or for Alice and Arlo. <laughs> we'll have like a tally chart. Do not send anything. I do not need you to send anything. That is so phenomenally cute. Thank you so much for this. You did not have to. That is... Oh, it's so soft. And there's no way this stuff is getting left at the office because if it does, it will just get stolen. So in the bag it goes. And just for the record, I'm gonna whisper this bit. These pop figures, when we redesign the office, because we're gonna like redecorate it without mum and Alice knowing, these are sick, like, and they're brand new in a box. So we're gonna put them up on shelves and it looks so cool. And would you look at this? I'm back in the bad boy. <laughs> Love it. What are you laughing at? 
Karen, you're the most random woman I possibly know. What is with your obsession with lamps everywhere? Just decided to turn around. There's just a lamp chilling in here. If we go back into the office, there's a bloody lampshade under there. Let me bloody tell you. You're back in mad, lass. I can't particularly say that was the most productive day I've ever had at Syndicate Original because I came in and opened a few boxes. Do you think you've had a good day? Yeah, oh, really go on the lass. Why did we have so many orders? Because we restocked all the have we, re have we restocked? All the LTS. Explosion. LTS. Here you go. I so right, I can announce this. We are hosting a photo shoot competition soon. Um, so if you've got any merch already or you want to get involved in it, we're going to be doing a photo shoot. So if you want to go to Syndicate Original, hopefully Ryan's putting like, oh, the website rolling past now. If you want to go to Syndicate Original and get yourself some merch, we're going to be hosting a photo competition and you don't need to be like a photographer professional. We're talking like, we want some funny ones. We want some beautiful locations. Always you know, wear your pants, we, we will take... Yeah, wear your pants, please. You know, like, we're talking like, you know, just a mix of everything, but we're going to do like cash prizes and random prizes uh, for people who enter to it. Enter. You can enter it. I'll let you both enter it. We'll see you can do the best one, right? But yeah, we're going to be doing like an epic competition. I've wanted to do it for ages. And Alice has given me the green light, so I'll have a few more details soon. You will find out more information about the competition as it comes, but I want to give people the chance to buy them She's just the world's best interrupter. But I will put more information out about like how we're going to host it and where we're going to host it and everything. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a heads up that if you don't have any of the merch, because we've been sold out for like bloody months, we're back in stock and you can go and get some. But right, I've got a debt I need to pay. You can't park there. It's private car parking. All right, off we go. Now, I don't think at any point today you've seen me eat anything. And it's now um, five o'clock in the afternoon. I am not in any way, shape or form a role model of what to eat healthily, but I have a burger from the birthday weekend yesterday that I have heated up uh, in the oven. So basically a steak burger reheated and that's, that's my lunch. That. That's it. Mmm. It's still good. But wow, definitely, oh, it's actually quite good. Definitely, definitely a depressing sight. Ah, yes, can I have a, just a pate of meat, please? But it kind of got to a point that I was shaking hungry, like, wow. And whilst we're at a point of wows, look at it from up here, man. It's just crazy. It looks mad. I cannot believe how lighter the, the entire area has become. Go on, the boys, we've got the rest of the week to crack on with that. And I tell you what, I think it'll be the best decision we made for the garden. <laughs> he said. And can we just put a bit of foreshadowing out here? If I don't get that gazebo down and put away, I am worried it will blow off. We'll just keep that recorded uh, for future reference of when I turn around, I go outside and it's completely gone. What a shock. We're back in the car and we're going. Busy day. Very, very, very busy day. Oh, now, come on now. Don't you be causing me any trouble, you. Look at the size of you. Mate, he's grown up so big. It's bloody Gary, Larry, Sarry, Jerry, Gary, Zerry, and Terry. <laughs> They're the best names I've ever came up with. Someone make some fun out of that. That'd be brilliant. Look at the size of you. You big quacky bastards. I can't believe it. I've seen you go from little things to big things to nearly splatted things mm. to now I bet you're just a bunch of bastards squawking at people. <laughs> Hissing at people. But who the hell's given seed? You might blow up. What the f*** are you looking at? <laughs> What are you looking at, you bastard? Listen, if you're mother hen, you're lucky you're still alive, all right? Save your kid's life. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> I, love how, I love how it's just staring at me. One distraction later. I haven't arrived. Does it? Oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't steal a single jelly cat of Arlo. Let me clarify something to oh, you. Oh, go on. You were all like, this is Arlo's jelly cat collection. Everyone send jelly cats for Arlo. Then on the sly, said, don't send jelly cats to Arlo. Send them to my baby. So therefore, you've stolen jelly cats off Arlo, off my baby, because you want them getting to you instead. Yes, bitch, please. Guess what I've got in my bag for you? Oh, so you're going to shut up, aren't you? Get... Don't you just love the brotherly, sisterly love? Oh. Boom, jelly cat that someone sent in for you. i already seen this. Where are the other two? There isn't any more for you. Yeah, exactly. What, what? were the other no, two? No, there wasn't. What were the, the other two? Alex, Alex, calm down. All right, time for the favourite thing, apparently, which is to wait for... Oh, he's face down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hey, mate. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, yeah. Hey, mate. <laughs> it's like watching an alien so discover the world. So hey, yeah. It's okay. Oh no! Hold this! I'm going to. Shh! Oh, yeah? Oh. 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 
I don't think he could get any further away from you. Oh no 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 no! I brought you jelly cats. Singular. He stole. He stole your. He stole your other Let's go give you jelly cat. Come on, let's take it downstairs. Hey, yes, it's the baby. The baby. The baby. Happy birthday. Oh, it's not even his birthday. I don't know why I started singing that. <laughs> I'm just, man, I, I'm so used to it being Lydia's birthday weekend that I, I just can't stop saying. Hey, listen, I know I've just woke you up. I'm really sorry, but I've got you a present. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. I just tried to steal someone's credit for that. Oh, flipping out. Alice, I filmed it ages ago. This is for you. Wow. 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 He seems totally bothered by this jelly cat. Wow! Can we clarify something? As soon as he walked in the room, his face lighted up. Can you get him to smile? Uh, On command? No. Go on, give it a go. <laughs> Wait, no, not, you smile, not make each other smile. Fancy you and you smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's his smile. You got scared, <laughs> Yeah, he did get it. Yeah, he went from smiling to scared. Look at this man! Look at this man! The full-on dad! <laughs> dude, look at his hair! It's so long! Who's that little dude? Who is that little dude that I met after I got back from Canada? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> the things you do as a dad, eh? <laughs> oh! Oh, he's so happy. Sometimes he gives you a look and I just see Grandad. Oh. I see Grandad in his eyes. It's, it's mad. Oh, there's no way you can do that. Ready? You're going to go for a walk? Go. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, up, you can do this. You need two arms, though, lad. Stop being <laughs> <hard. It's laughs> so How many days until he's one? On the 26th. Send jelly cats. If people are going to send jelly cats, there needs to be a clear note that says either for Alice and Arlo or Tom and Lydia. You just wait till I'm back from the office. Why? You're a baby older, I'll be oh, next oh, oh. By the way, she's always like, nah, I'm, I'm still on maternity, still on maternity, still on maternity. Now that the P.O. box is back open. Oh, you're interested, are you? Oh. Look, you're missing it. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. Georgia. 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 I'm not holding it, he's doing it himself. He's doing it himself. Quick, move your hands. No. <gasps> oh my gosh! My hat! You got it, man. Just, just think that if you actually look back through the vlogs. <laughs> if you look back through the vlogs, you will see his entire life just yeah, that's develop. That's what Ryan's going to do for his first birthday make a montage of Alice's first year. No pressure, Ryan. Ryan, obviously, we have to blur this, but honest feedback on this. Mmm. Um, different. You've never done anything like that. Oh, yeah. Secret, secret stuff. Oh, but we're going to have to close this because it is indeed baby time. Who would have thought, eh? <laughs> From 909 or 69ers to, to whatever this is. Yeah. Well, you're living your best life, aren't you, bro? <laughs> Watching whatever this is. Don't you say anything to your mum. There for Alice, but what she doesn't know, she can't say anything about. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get a name off it. Bloody hell, what's he stuck on with? Gorilla tape? Oh, he yeah, well he's wants. Oh, no! <laughs> he, I, he well wants in on this. Hey, if you have one, you're part of the pact. Take it to the grave. Take it to the grave! Oh! <laughs> Just for clarification, we're clearly not going to let him have one, okay? Right, go on then. Got anything, got, got anything worth saying, Alice? I know they are. Oh, now he's smiling. Oh, maybe not. It's very short moments when Arlo smiles. It's as soon as he sees the camera, he's like, <laughs> Oh, actually, he's keeping his... See, he loves his little jelly cats. Fucking hell, I'm out of here. You know what? I'm on my way home from Alice and Carl's, and I'm just saying this right now. I will never understand English weather. Like, what on earth is that about? It, how, how has this day been what it's been? From storms to just superb sunshine. 
What a country. And wow, I have not seen this in like the longest time. But just look at that amount of light on the garden. It looks so good. Oh, I feel like I've been living in a shadow. Well, I quite literally have. Living in a shadow my entire life. Oh my gosh. The lesson here is to not let those trees grow that big again. Honestly, if the trees were there now, there'd be a shadow going across half the garden. Wow. 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 Great success. I was stuck in the massage chair. Were you in the massage chair? <laughs> Hello. Hello, birthday girl. Oh, wait. That was last week. No, it's not your birthday anymore. How are you doing? Good. You still feeling good after an amazing weekend? Yeah. Aww. You guys amazing. Yeah, probably do. Have you seen the trees? It's really sad. Oh, I know it's sad. I hate it. Oh. Really bad. Oh. Too Why? What, it's so sad. Well, well, I know it's sad, but it will be made better. I know, it's absolutely bananas, isn't it? Like, again, privacy sucks, but the amount of sunlight the garden gets on it. I know, that is That nice. is honestly beautiful. I just, if you, you need to go down to it and just be like, wow, wow. Now, you got sent some snacks by some, some awesome people. Yay! That is adorable, isn't it? How soft is it? So soft. So soft. And then check this out. <laughs> I know, it's jelly, man. I know. And then look at this. I've not even been through it all because I wanted to wait for you. Look at this. There's the card from them. Boom, there you go. So it's from Josh. What a guy. And look at this dream big little one. Look, nice look, I've not even pulled this out yet. Oh, that is oh so, feel gosh. it, feel it, feel it. Yeah. Wow, honestly. <gasps> Lydia, 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 Lydia. <gasps> little boots, little boots. <laughs> so cute. Is that an outfit? So it's an outfit. <gasps> Look, look how small it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Small. That's small with an S-M-O-L. Small. Oh, it's big as my hand. <laughs> Little toesies. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought they were socks. Yeah, okay, I'll, put, <laughs> I'll lay this out properly. Look, a little bib. Oh, a little bib. So a little hat. Oh. <laughs> we are so spoiled. I told people not. I've not... I've not seen anything. It's just insane. The cake girl sent us something. Charlie. Why? No, I'm not like not in an angry way, but I like the, these people amazing. already go enough and beyond. You guys don't. I told you, you don't need to send anything. Stop it. What is it? Ah, hello, baby. That's kind of cute. Oh, see, Tom Lutra, congratulations on your little baby. Congratulations. Lots of love, Charlotte. And I can never pronounce it. Connor. Um, cakes by Charles. Oh, thank you so much. So that's the girl who did Lydia's birthday cake and pretty much does all our birthday cakes. She's amazing. She's amazing. And she sent us something in. What is it? <gasps> no. You've what? got to be kidding me. That. Ew, that. Baby Cassell. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Soft. <laughs> sick, but soft. <gasps> that is so my bad. What is it? Blanket. Is that what it is? Oh. What's that? Little outfit. Oh my god. Oh. I love I love that everyone's sending us stuff that's like fully gender neutral. Because yeah. it's great. But this is so our vibe. This is so our vibe. Gender neutral for the win. Feel it. Charlotte, you didn't have to do this. You big sausage. <laughs> it's a little outfit. Okay, that's cute. And they look for pants. <laughs> Little pants with shoes built in. That's 200 IQ. Wow, that is honestly beautiful. You guys truly do blow I can't us away. Cope with any more I know. I know. You don't need any more presents. Send me some. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Do not stop. You guys need to stop. All I ask for you guys on these videos is to just stop wasting your time watching my time. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe, and ding on the notification bell. <laughs> Definitely keep watching, please. Yeah, keep watching. <laughs> Because what's to come is going to be wild. You think having a baby's crazy? It is pretty crazy. <laughs> Just wait for everything else along the way. Now, this is about to be one of the weirdest things I've ever boasted about. But in the entire, like, nine years of me living here, right, I've had a sofa in that corner and a sofa there. If you're wondering where that sofa's gone, and you didn't pay attention in yesterday's vlog, it actually got moved into the lounge. You might think, well, that looks stupid because it's like blocking the way, and it's probably because there's a throne there. But I tell you, Summer, having a seat here into the lounge 
is actually one of the best decisions we've ever done. It's such a social addition to the room, which I just never thought of, because like, why would you want to block the window and all that sort of stuff or be sat facing away from the view? Because you're like, you want to be sat looking at the view, not facing away from it. But what a brilliant add-on. It, it kind of came at a cost because when it got carried in from the other room, uh, unfortunately it got plonked down here and it took away the corner of the glass cabinet that I've got over here now, which is pretty damn dangerous. But I'm a little bit more sad about it because it's not just any like coffee table whiskey area. It's actually what my granddad bought me as like a moving in decoration piece for my house. Like my granddad bought me that, my granddad bought me that. He bought me all these beautiful things. And I've turned it into such like a nice little like whiskey collection cabinet. And unfortunately it's had a big chip taken out of it. So I'm yet to find like the rogue piece of mirrored sharp glass just like scattered around the house anywhere. But I'm really hoping I'm gonna be able to just like get this taken somewhere, get it ripped off, put an exact replacement put back on and it will be problem solved. But Lydia, how much of a good shout is this sofa being in this room? Yeah, I love it. I like the vibe, I just wanted to decorate. Yeah, cause Lydia's not exactly a fan of the gray. Hence the new colour of the chair we've got. You know, it's it's more the aesthetic that we're going for. So yes, we're we will. Look whimsical. We, yeah, we'll make it look whimsical, and we will be redecorating. You know, trying to do a million and ten things before the baby arrives. I think it's gonna happen when the baby arrives. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think we'll get around to doing it beforehand? Um. No. Trick question. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. But I'm just doing you guys a favour because I know every time I film this laptop screen, it's always got fingerprints on it. But now, look at that. Oh, oh smudged to shit. <laughs> well, I tried. Psych! It's like a mirror. Wow, so Lydia just came running in. What did you say? Please, sir, will you clean mine too? And I was, and then she ran in with a laptop because like, I literally just made that look like a mirror. And I was like, no, I don't really want to. It's Surely it can't be that bad. Oh my gosh. Look at the state of that. Screen cleaning spray, microfiber cloth, before and after. Wow. <gasps> that is actually... It's like a new laptop. It actually is. That is actually incredible. Man, this thing, this, this combination is cracking. Now, are you ready for a behind the scenes of yesterday's vlog? So, as you know, the birthday movie was massive. I sent around about three hours worth of footage. So, when I'm not, I'm not supposed to film on the weekends, but I end up doing sometimes. And then we put it into the Monday vlog as like a bonus vlog, like bonus loads of footage on top of the Friday. Well, the video is that big that rather than me downloading it and uploading it like we usually do, I've remote accessed onto Orion's PC to upload this file. And you know, like when I usually upload a video, it takes me about uh, five to eight minutes. Well, with Orion's internet, it's going to take me two hours and 17 minutes. And as it stands, it's currently 7.31 p.m. So by the time that that video is uploaded, it will be 9.45. So, um... The vlog was late. Don't know why I said that. It's it's already 7.31. The vlog's 31 minutes late. But I already tweeted about it, put it on my Instagram and told everyone. But that 2 hours and 15 minutes doesn't account for YouTube processing or checks for like copyright or anything. So I'll be surprised if the vlog even goes live before midnight tonight. My bad. I just got carried away filming the birthday weekend. It was just so much fun. It was so epic. I'm so happy. Oh, bloody hell. I done goofed. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to be going to Letterbox and I heard your car turn up. I was like, hey, up. There's someone at the door. Post, well, I'm actually postman twat, but we don't talk about that. Oh, no, I know you've not come to see me. You've come to say happy birthday to Lydia. So I guess Lydia's birthday weekend doesn't even stop yet. Bloody hell. Honestly, I can't believe it. I've never set, met someone so spoiled. It just keeps going and going and going. And Gail, the gifts just keep coming and coming and coming. Yeah. How do you keep getting presents? Like, what is going on? What is going on? It's, it's ridiculous. Flipping heck. Yeah. I tell you what, a birthday can keep going on. A birthday can keep going on until that comes down. It's just tomorrow. <laughs> it leaves tomorrow. <laughs> That's a belted present. So Dad and Gail have got Lydia. Loads of like bum oil that you're supposed to put on your belly and stuff, right? Or bath soak. But look, rather than a face mask, it's a bump mask. Do you have one for a fat bloke? Because oh. I, <laughs> I can think of two blokes that could <laughs> possibly need one. <laughs> you get one guess what your present is. If you get it wrong, you're not having it. What are you having? Alcohol free. Cake. It's, oh, alcohol free mm -hmm. and cake. Yeah, I'll let you keep it. Dun, 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 dun. Cake. Lydia's only got nine days left at work. Nine days. And she's mine forever. Good. Right. Good, good, good. All the way from Harrogate 
I hope you like fondant. Oh, 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 right, Betty, yeah. Thank you very much. fancies for your faces. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much. Right, Dave gone. I'm shutting this door and I'm saying the night to that. Oh, hang on a minute. Just, just wait a second. Ladies and gentlemen, would you just look at that view? Gorgeous. All right, get me inside because I believe I've got some dinner waiting for me. Oh, oh, oh. steak fritters and chips. Lovely. Thank you, Lydia. I appreciate ya. This might look like one of the blandest teas we've ever had, and I'm not saying that in an insulting way. It's just we're not we're, we're not starving. You know what I mean? It's just like a snacky tea. Why not? This is the size of my plate. That's the size of Woody's. <laughs> I haven't eaten it for the last half an hour. Oh, she's been a hungry Horace. And by the way, this is a Limefield steak. Is it any good? Yes, obviously. I am absolutely bamboozled. I've just opened a package that's been delivered to me that I ordered about three months ago or something, and it's a book called Die With Zero. And if you're wondering, like, why I'm reading a book like that, it seems a bit deep, is because a friend of mine's life, as he knew it, everything going on in it, I'm not going to say who, just completely got flipped, turned upside down, not to be, like, fresh prints in it there, but, like, truly did. Everything he knew just changed. He lost his, like, family member... Everything in life just fucking fell apart and his life got rocked. And he's got back on the horse and got back at life and knows to make the most of it. But he said one of the biggest things that helped him get back on track was this book called Die With Zero. And it sounds, you know, depressing, but at the end of the day, when you die, you can't take it with you. And this is a really interesting take to be like, what's it all worth? Like, what's the point in grinding? What's the point in working? Put all that time and effort in if you can't take it with you. And he said this is one of the best books he's ever bought. But when I tried to buy it, it was completely sold out um, and said it was going to take three months to order. So I've ordered it and it's supposed to be brand new. But I've got to be honest, it looks like a second-hand library book. <laughs> Looks like a second-hand library book. Seattle Public Library. What the feck? I paid so much money for this book for it to get here, brand new, and I've been sent a second-hand library book? Okay, that is bizarre. It cost me £35.20. But you know what? I'm not even bothered if it is from Seattle Library. I am going to put it by the side of my massage chair. So every time I sit in it, after every day's vlog goes up and I reply to your guys' comments, I'm not going to get out of it until I've read a few pages and I get my way through it. Because my friend just said it's one of the best things he's ever read and I take his rec recommendations to like the ends of the earth. Like, I love this dude to pieces and to see him go through what he went through was just fucking shit. It really was shit. He's back on his feet now. He's, he's you know, he's, he's there. He's the guy he always was meant to be and then some. And, you know, when you experience a loss of, like, any degree, it's tough. But when it's, like, your only parent, I couldn't even imagine. Like, if I only had my dad, not even my mum and my dad, and I was to lose one of them, like, let alone, you know, like, one of them and I had not, I didn't have the other, I, I don't know where I'd be in life. Like, losing my, like, recently losing my granddad was, was like, one of the toughest things I've ever had to deal, deal with. But a parent, man. No, it sounds daft, but I've always said a million times over, like, I would rather die <laughs> before my parents die. But, you know, the statistical chances of life are, they're probably going to go before you. So we've got to enjoy the time with them. And more so, make the best memories, because what's it all worth if it's just, I think, even a quote in this, just left in the bank. So I'm going to give this a reef, Chief. If you do happen to see this, I love you. You're the best. And... I just can't wait to see you again. Right, I can confirm it is now 10.48 at night. The vlog has gone live. It is an hour and 37 minutes long. Wow, um, I'm really sorry about that. But like, come on, man. Did I expect to film for that amount of time? No, I didn't. But um, it is live. The memory is fully secured on the YouTubes, on the internets of Lydia's 30th birthday party, which I'm so stoked about. All the surprises along the way were captured on camera. Uh, and I'm just glad it's out. So if you didn't see it from yesterday's vlog and you've got an hour and 37 minutes to kill, make sure you get it over and give it a watch. But it's about that time in the day where I have to say, guys, I'm knackered. I got up at eight o'clock this morning to crack on with my day, 
chainsaw in a way and just doing all the things along the way. So yeah, it's been a madness. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, do me a favor, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell next to it. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. I know I say I post at 7 p.m. ish. This was very much an anomaly because it was such a long video. I've tried to like keep the vlogs around 20, 30 minutes and you guys seem to be loving that. So if you did like this video today, guys, make sure you leave a like rating, make sure you click that subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell, leave a like rating. I keep repeating myself because I'm realizing I am really tired and I'm going around in circles. But yeah, leave a comment down below what your favorite moment about this entire vlog was. And I'll be sure to see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. ish for next weekday vlog. So until then, much love and as always, sadios.